Today's verses continue from the introduction of what is commonly known as the rapture of the body of Christ and speak directly to this teaching, exclusive to the revelation of the mystery, how the Lord Jesus Christ, head of the body of Christ, will come for the church which is his body. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so, shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 15 to 18 Let's look at this rightly divided teaching and break it down. As part of the mystery, while some who are in Christ will obviously die while awaiting his coming, some will not die. For the revelation here is for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Yet we know from companion mystery revelation in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 51 to 52 that we shall all be changed, behold, I shew you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. This is a coming for those who have believed the gospel of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4, while they lived on earth. It will thus address both the members of the body of Christ who have previously died and those who remain. How will this occur? Paul answers this very clearly saying, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. So, both those members of the body of Christ who are dead in Christ, who will rise first, and those who remain, are still alive, will be caught up and will meet the Lord in the air, example, his feet will not touch the earth, till later. This is a truth of scripture, rightly divided, that is inescapable in its clarity. Though many in Christendom may incorrectly debate the timing, it comes after the fullness of the Gentiles become in Romans 11 verse 25. Most agree with the Lord returning for his church per today's verses. And further truth of scripture in this regard is that once we meet him in the air, so shall we ever be with the Lord. For the mystery and heavenly body of Christ will be united with the head of the body, forever. And those who are in Christ by belief of the gospel can and should comfort one another with these words. Believer, believe the truth of Christ's coming and catching away of the church which is his body, and comfort one another with these words. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.